so so today i'll first uh, complete this find this algorithm and uh, then uh, then we'll go to the candidate elimination algorithm which is very important okay so find s finding a maximally specific hypothesis so already you have discussed what is what is a uh, specific hypothesis and what is a uh, general hypothesis this thing has been clear to you in the last lecture i have uh, I have explained that today we are going to so uh, finding s is finding a maximally specific hypothesis okay so already we know what is uh, specific hypothesis and what is generic hypothesis general hypothesis so specific hypothesis means is uh, very specific about the value and uh, apart from that value no other uh, value will be accepted right in case of specific hypothesis in general hypothesis we accept all the values so what this find what this find this algorithm does it find the maximally specific hypothesis let's see how it works okay so uh, how can you use more general than part, uh, partial ordering to organize the search for a hypothesis consistent with the observed training example one is to begin with more specific possible hypothesis so here uh, we have to find uh, we have to uh, we have to explain this i have to explain this uh, find this algorithm what it does you you, you, you have seen this uh, table here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six attributes, and this is the decision attribute you have. So, how this algorithm works? The first, uh, this is the find s algorithm. Okay, find s. So, how how this algorithm works? This algorithm basically find the most specific hypothesis in H. Okay, so for each positive training instances X, for each attribute con con contains AI in H, if the con constraint uh, AI is satisfied by X, then do nothing, otherwise replace AI in H by the next more general constraint that is satisfied by S. Now what is the X, what is the meaning of this? Meaning is that the first step of the find S algorithm is to initialize H to the most specific hypothesis. So because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six attributes, so everything has been initialized to phi so you know that phi means it's more specific okay uh, more specific than this this expression is not possible this is the most the utmost specific uh, hypothesis so this is my initial starting point okay initially we have to we have to uh, assign this h small h with this all phi six phi because we have six attributes uh, independent attributes okay now upon observing this first training example from table 2.1 this is table 2.1 assuming which happens to be a positive example. So this is a positive example, okay? Uh, first training example. So this is the first training example, this one, which is a positive example, okay? And uh, it becomes clear that our hypothesis is too specific. We have started with this and we have this, which is a positive example. So ours is too positive, too, spe too uh, specific hypothesis. So we have to change it. What we will do? That is what this algorithm says. If the constant a a i, I hope this is a i, okay, is satisfied by x, then do nothing. It's not satisfying at all because we have phi here and we have sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. So this is not satisfying. That 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 means this else part will be activated. That means else replace a i in h by the next more con constant that is satisfied by x. So next more constant, more general constant. So this is more general constant. That means we will be we will be replacing this phi, this phi, this phi, this phi, this and this by sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. Sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. So that is the first thing we are doing. Second, so this is this is the first, you can say first uh, uh, step. This is the second step. Okay, this is the second step. So we, we are doing so. So in particular, none of the phi constant in H are satisfied with this example. So each of each is replaced. Everything has been replaced. This has been replaced. This has been replaced. This has been replaced, this has been replaced, this has been replaced, okay. Everything has been replaced. I think, uh, okay, mm, fine. So then, mm, C H is replaced. Uh, then H is still very specific. It, uh, it asserts that all instances are negative, except for the single positive training example you have observed, okay. Next, the second training example. Let's take the second training example, students. So this is sunny, warm, high, strong, warm, same. These are also positive example. So here the hypothesis that we have in the second step is nothing but sunny, warm, normal. So sunny, warm, sunny, warm, and then the third one is normal. 
here third one is high so there is a mismatch happening over here so what we will do we will make it there is a mismatch so still very specific okay so what we will do next with the second training example also positive in this case first we have to see whether it is positive or negative if it is negative then we won't consider it at all if it is negative we won't consider this uh, at all okay force the algorithm to further generalize h this time substituting a question mark in the place of attribute value in h that not satisfy so this high is not satisfying this high is not satisfying because sunny and warm is satisfying for the second instances high is not satisfying because it is uh, inconsistent with the normal so what we will do we will put a question mark here so we will delete normal we will put a question mark here so that's what we have done over here question mark okay strong warm same remaining thing will be as it is so third second example is over now let us go to the third example so this is our second example second hypothesis and this is our third third hypothesis okay so third hypothesis only one change happened which is nothing but this question mark okay and now upon encountering the third trading example in this case a negative example uh, the algorithm makes no change to h because it is a negative example this is a negative example so we are not going to change the algorithm let it be let it be let the th third hypothesis as, as it is let, let us not change it because it's a negative example only we will be concerned about the positive example in case of find s algorithm students only we are only concerned about positive and negative example whatever happening we don't bother okay so negative example is simply simply ignore that is what it says in fact uh, negative example the algorithm makes no change to it so we won't change it we will keep it as it is that means this is also fourth this is third sorry this is third so third and second both are equivalent okay third and second both are equivalent while this may at first seem strange notice that the current case r hypothesis h is already consistent with the new negative example okay so here why it is we are ignoring because here in the rainy cold and high so instead of rainy we have here sunny that is a negative thing it is not there instead of coal we have warm here so I, I earlier this fellow resulted positive here in the last time it has resulted positive but it is now resulting negative and here in the attribute values are changing these are also negative so it's not a it's not hampering the things it's not a problem because earlier it was positive now these things are negative 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 that means the opposite 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 to sunny opposite to worm okay so there is no problem so and also this resulting uh, outcome which is no it is not at all positive so it's not hampering this uh, third hypothesis second hypothesis it will be as it is okay so now this is the reason we are ignoring the third one okay hence no revision no revision we are doing next uh, no revision no revision is needed in the general case as long as we assume that the hypothesis space a h contains a hypothesis that describe the true target concept c and the training data contains no error then the current hypothesis h can never require a revision in response to the negative example already it is negative example here and here also negative here also negative so it is not a problem it's not hampering so we are ignoring we are keeping the second hypothesis as third hypothesis we are not changing anything okay now what happens now let us go to the fourth fourth one fourth uh, fourth uh, uh, instance fourth uh, hypothesis let us take so fourth hypothesis uh, what will happen the fourth positive examples so first of all you have to see whether it is positive or negative a negative mean will ignore positive example is there so obviously if it is positive example then you have to compare with this one this one sunny warm question mark strong warm same so here you can write this is the fourth one so uh, our, uh, this is fourth one this is fourth hypothesis and this is second hypothesis third one which is nothing but it was sunny warm and then sunny warm question mark strong warm same okay question mark strong warm and same okay so this is a change so here you see it is yes so obviously we have to compare it only thing is that third one is question mark here also question mark sunny is as it, as it is uh, warm is also as it is here is a strong here it is warm here it is uh, cool and uh, okay and then here it is same here it is change so these two are actually uh, not matching inconsistent so we will make here question mark here we will make question mark that's all this is the final result so this is how find this algorithm works final find this algorithm illustrated one by one in which the more general than particular ordering can be used to organize the search for a acceptable hypothesis okay so this is the final result students using uh, uh, find this algorithm. I hope you understood. Okay, now let me 